There she is! And not a freedom fighter to be seen, thank goodness. Hey, doesn't it look like those two are talking about something? You've been feeling pretty lonely all this time, haven't you, Katomi? Ugh, why have you dragged yourself back here? Didn't I tell you never to darken my doorway again? Not that I'm shocked you've forgotten, since you have the kind of memory that would fill a goldfish with confidence. Kotomi, listen to me. Why don't we leave this place together, you and I? Back to the real world. The true world. A world where there are lots and lots of fun things just waiting for us. Like grapes. So delicious. And you can buy all sorts of things from these quaint little stores with cute owners. If you wanted, we could even go look at clothes together. And is this some kind of joke? Who would ever be caught dead spending time with the likes of you? You wanted friends though, right? You've been dealing with soul-crushing loneliness for a long, long time, right? Well, I'll be your friend if you want. So come on, let's head back to the real world together, okay? You can't just stay in a place like this forever. You just can't. What do you mean by a place like this? I don't know what you've heard, or where you heard it, but what could a trash woman like you possibly know about me? Your utter foolishness and uppity pride are both unwanted and unwelcome. Do the world a favor and disappear from it. Did you really think your pathetic attempts at pandering to my psyche would get me to do a sudden 180? You are to stop trying to get into my head right this very instant. I wasn't pandering. I was completely serious. Serious? Ha! You're a hypocrite, that's all you are. No, I'm not. And you still haven't answered my question from yesterday either. What are you talking about? Okay, break it up. Uh, Asahi? Ryu? Yamato? I heard the whole thing. Uh... And I know you. You're not a hypocrite. You wouldn't say all that unless you really, really meant it. But you also need to think about how it must have sounded from Katomi's perspective. Say you do lead her out of here, what will you do with this place afterward? You know. So you'll destroy this delusion? Even though it's come from Katomi's heart and represents her dearest wish? I... Even I'd have some trouble believing that someone planning something like that would want to be friends. It's not true! Hmm. Impressive. One wretch's words are actually making sense now. But Katomi, you have to understand something too. Saki really, truly, genuinely wants to make friends with you. Even if you dismiss everything else she's saying, you shouldn't dismiss that. <laughs> she plans on destroying my world! But, but I have to! If I don't nullify the delusions, they'll start to eat away at reality. But if you do nullify this delusion, the only world that's ever been kind to me will be gone. Still, even if your delusion is gone, you'll have me standing by your side. Give it up, Saki. Why? Why are you stopping me? Because you just don't get it. Get what? What don't I get? Saki all been helping me nullify delusions this whole time. You've protected the world for the good of all people. And who are these people exactly? All of them. They are who they are. They're... they're the reason I do... all of this. Saki, how could you? Even you, Pinkoon? Why? Tell me why! What have I done wrong? If we don't nullify the delusions, the real world will be eaten by lies! And the world... the world will... Saki, are you really doing this for the world's sake? <laughs> I see. I'm sorry. I was wrong. Hey, are you... This world doesn't need the likes of me, does it? Hold on! Where are you going? <laughs> nice to see she finally gets it. Saki, wait! How about y'all wait? Right where you're standing. Boss, I warned you not to get in our way, but you just wouldn't listen. We found you here yesterday with your ass freshly kicked, you know. I was just caught unawares, is all. That cannon's a real coward. Attacking a guy from behind like that. Just the two of you today? 
two's all we need to handle a half-pint delusion like this. Especially now that I'm prepared. Get out of the way, you drawling doofus! Why? Planning on running after your friend even after she abandoned you? This little missy's right. You're pathetic. Wait, what? Are you guys having a fight with Saki Saki? I'm sorry, but I really don't have the time to explain. I really just need you guys to get out of our way. But Asahi, if we leave this spot now, then Katomi will have to face down the Freedom Fighters all by herself. What, you fellas planning on going AWOL too then? Answer the question, soldier! Boss, Akari, I know we've had our differences, and I know I'm asking a lot here, but just for today, would you please stand aside and let us through? Oh, and leave this poor girl alone. Ooh, I'd like that too, very much. Ditto. What's gotten into you? You eat something that didn't agree with you? Like hell are we freedom fighters gonna listen to some punk kid's request? If the fate of Akiba's on the line, we ain't never gonna stand up. Okay, you guys win. We're gonna go back to our hideout now and call it a day. What the Dakari? Heck are you doing taking matters into your own hands? I'm the boss for a reason, remember? But boss, this is what you're always telling me. You said when somebody's in trouble, we should always listen to their requests. Consorn it, I guess I did. But still. Please, seriously, I'm begging you here. Fine, just this once. I'm gonna let you guys get out of here. Call it an early day myself. This is just for today, you hear me? This is the last free pass you're ever gonna get. Akihabara Freedom Fighters, withdraw! With the draw! You should be safe now, Katomi. And just when did I ever ask you to protect me? Sorry. For everything. <laughs> just get out of here right now. Every one of you. Yeah, that's what we were planning on. Come on, gang. We've still got to find Saki. At least pick up what you dropped before you go. All right, I'm gonna try calling her. Or I would if I ever got her number. Huh, probably should have done that. Oh, I haven't. I'll try. We're sorry, but the phone you've dialed is either powered off or outside the service area. I can't get through. Damn it! Where did she go? Not like there's a lot of room to run here. She couldn't have gotten very far. Then let's all split up and try to find her. So far, no good. Like she disappeared. I couldn't find her either. Where the heck did she go? Damn it. This is all my fault. I was so focused on thinking about how Katomi felt that I didn't even take a moment to think about Saki's feelings. You're not the only one. I did the same thing. Somewhere in my heart of hearts, I just kept thinking, it's Saki, and Saki will be just fine. Yeah. Saki might be a girl with a grand mission, but she's still just an ordinary girl when you get down to it. But where could she have gone? It is getting pretty late. Well, maybe she went back home. You think so? I don't actually know where her home is, come to think of it. I don't either. Same. For all the time we've spent with Saki, we really don't know her very well at all, do we? I guess not. <sighs> well, lucky for you, you've got me! Pinkoon! I'll go check up on her, so you just hang tight for a bit. Thank you so much, Pinkoon. That'll be a big help. You can count on me. I know Saki better than just about anyone. Well, while he's off checking on her, why don't we drop by Violet Eden for a bit? Beat sitting on our hands. I like that idea. Maybe Akimi knows something that could help us, too. Fine by me. I'll meet you there. Fly safe, Pinkoon. <laughs> 